welcome back to my channel. Like always, I'm How To Tech Tips, and I hope you enjoy my videos. And of course, don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, and share any of my videos. If you guys have any requests, please comment in the comments section below, or you can even email me. My email is in the description below. Also, I am taking emails as well. If you guys are having any issues with any of your tech, then feel free to email me and I will try my best to help you guys out. So I'm going to start by saying that I've recently created a website. You can see it right here on the on my screen right now. Um, there's a bunch of different tabs that I have. The website is, of course, called howtotechtips.com. And basically, the main function, but I think, for this website is the form section. So you click on forms. Here, you will find all of your, you know, troubleshooting. If you want to sell, you know, your, your Microsoft equipment. Apple equipment, there's just tutorials and laptops. You know, sometimes one person may have an error. I might not have the message, but somebody else might have before. Uh, open discussion for everybody that needs help with their technology. So today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to fix an MSVCP 100.dll error these errors can come in you know several different forms um and when i mean several different forms i mean like the messages may come out different one of them is going to be msvcp100.dll is not found you might see this one the program cannot start because DLL is missing from your computer. Try reinstalling the program to fix this problem. There's also another one that's the file is just missing and to just reinstall the application. So today I'm gonna to be just showing you guys, like I said earlier, just how to fix this. So let's get started. So I'm just gonna X that. And you want to open up your internet browser. And from here, there's two ways you can do it. But I find that this way is a lot easier, is if you just Google Microsoft, can't type today, Visual 3, I mean 3, C++, 10, 20, Service pack one redistributable package MFC security updates. Make sure that you write with security updates and get the most recent copy of it off the Microsoft website, which you can see right there. We're going to left click on that guy. And while we're waiting for it to load, please don't forget to subscribe, comment, and of course, share any of my videos. Okay, so once you confirm that you are on the correct page, Microsoft Visual C++ 2010 Service Pack 1 Redistributable Pack Edge MFC Security Updates, We'll then go down to just the different details that's here, system requirements, install, um, install instructions, etc. So here I'm just going to write, so my language is English. You can also change it. There's a bunch here. And then we're going to click download. And basically for this, you're either going to be 64-bit, which is going to be this, 
or 32 bit. And how we know is if you go into your settings, which if you click start and then settings, and then from here, go into system and then about. And then from about, you'll see system type 64. Well, mine says 64 bit. Yours might say 32. Mine says 64. So I'll minimize that really quickly. And like I said, this is 64 bit and this is 32 bit. So I'm going to check mark the 64 bit, hit next. And then just put it on the desktop. Hit open. It should extract pretty quickly. Let's go to the add or remove. Peter's a little sluggish. I should, I'm sorry about that, guys. I haven't updated it, updated it in a while. Oh, no right here okay I read and I accept I thought he already finished so I read and accept and then we're gonna hit install we're gonna let it do its thing And then, as you can see, installation is complete. Microsoft Visual C++ 2010 Redis Preload has been installed. You can click Finish. And then how we can confirm that it actually is installed is we can go to the Add and Remove Programs. And then go to Microsoft 2010. eighty six bit and my apologies that's actually an error on my part let me go back so eighty six is actually the thirty two bit and sixty four bit which is be the sixty four bit of course so my apologies on that one just want to correct myself 64 is 64 bit and then 86 is 32 bit all right and then the other way you can do it is you could just go to google.ca and then just type in um microsoft visual c plus plus 20 um redistributable and then here it'll just show you on the very first tab the latest support for Visual C++ redistributable downloads. And then here's a bunch of information about it. We can just scroll all the way down to Visual Studio 2010. And then here's it would be the 64 and 32 bit. So you would just download the 64 like I did, and then just re-download everything. Let it do its thing again. 
Mine's already downloaded, as you can tell. I'm just gonna cancel it. And then after the installation, of course, you'd go back into add and remove programs. And then just make sure that, oh, where did it go? That in fact, it is downloaded in here. And if it's not, then you may need to reset your computer again, or if that also doesn't help, then just try to reinstall it again. And that's basically it. Thanks guys for watching. I'm um, How To Tech Tips. Keep teching on.